Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. I hope you had a very fun Super Bowl weekend. I have an exciting update that I'm now off my crutches and just using a cane. So I do have a real Greg House vibe going, but the added mobility is fantastic. So really excited about that. In other exciting news to celebrate Valentine's, TipRanks is offering 50% off their ultimate subscriptions this week. This is an opportunity to get the very best price for unlimited access to all the TipRanks data and tools, including their premium stock analysis and expert access, along with other features such as their popular website screener and complete expert rankings. There will be a link in the description down below if you want to take advantage of this fantastic deal. And this is also a reminder to go buy that Valentine's card today and don't put it off till tomorrow. Now this morning we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. So let's jump right into the morning's exciting stock market news. We are kicking the week off with U.S. stock features in the green as investors wait for the Consumer Price Index report, which is due out tomorrow. Right now, Dow futures are up 0.14%, S&P 500 futures up 0.32%, and Nasdaq futures up 0.64%. It is anticipated that Ford could announce plans as early as today to build a $3.5 billion lithium iron phosphate battery plant in Michigan. Sources told Reuters that Ford is expected to own and operate the plant with China's contemporary Amprex technology company as a technology partner to help develop the batteries. It's anticipated that this is part of their plan to rapidly scale electric vehicles and make them more accessible to customers. The automaker has a news conference with top execs scheduled for 1.45 today. Analysts do currently rate the Ford stock a hold, with an average upside of over 10%. Nikola has reportedly begun work on hydrogen plants as they work on building out their fueling network. The manufacturer will be relying on partnerships to help support having 7,500 heavy-duty vehicles on the road by 2026. They have inked deals with hydrogen producers that have agreed to supply hydrogen across parts of the U.S. and Canada. Back in January, Nikola had said that they would work with Fortescue Future Industries to co-develop U.S. green hydrogen production facilities. The Nikola stock currently just has one analyst rating, coming in with a very bullish price target of $5 per share. And working together to accelerate LiDAR adoption, Ouster and Velodyne have completed their merger. The newly combined company will keep the name Ouster and continue to trade under the same ticker. The merger creates a LiDAR powerhouse with over 850 customers spanning the automotive, industrial, robotics, and smart infrastructure industries. The merger creates an expanded partner ecosystem and distribution channels to accelerate market penetration and puts them in a strong financial position with a combined cash balance of over $315 million as of year-end. The Ouster stock currently just has two analyst ratings coming in as a moderate buy with an average upside of 11%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from Palantir, Avis Budget Group, and Solar Edge Technologies. Looking at the week ahead, highlights include Coca-Cola, Airbnb, and Upstart on Tuesday, followed by Analog Devices, Cisco, and Energy Transfer on Wednesday, Applied Materials, Vail, and DraftKings Thursday, and we end the week off with John Deere. In the pre-market this morning, we've heard from Monday.com. Their stock is up over 10% after posting a surprise profit with a big earnings beat. They reported a Q4 earnings per share of $0.44, cents, which came in $0.80 cents higher than expected. Their revenue of $149.9 million grew 57% year-over-year, beating expectations by about $8.3 million. For their future guidance, they're expecting total revenue to grow about 33-34% to year-over-year. Analysts currently rate the Monday.com stock a strong buy with an average upside of over 19%. Also coming in ahead of expectations this morning was Checkpoint Software. The company also increased their share buyback program. They reported Q4 earnings of $2.45 per share, beating expectations by $0.09. Cents. Revenue of $638 million beat expectations by $1.76 million, and they saw a 13% increase year-over-year to the security subscription revenues. 
Their directors also authorized a $2 billion expansion to the company's ongoing share repurchase program. Analysts currently rate their stock a hold with an average upside of nearly 11%. Then we have Royvent Sciences. Their stock is declining this morning after they missed on earnings and saw a year-over-year -year decline in revenue. That revenue came in at $17.05 million, which was down 30% year-over-year, but it did come in $2.27 million ahead of expectations. Meanwhile, they posted a loss per share of $0.49, cents, which was $0.09 cents wider than anticipated. Wall Street analysts currently rated a unanimous strong buy with an average upside of 54%, but we'll see how new ratings are updated following this report. Now let's take a look at which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Millicom International after their earnings report on Friday. Trading under the ticker TIGO, their stock is up 13%. They're followed by Monday.com, under the ticker MNDY, up over 10%, and Getty Images, under GETY, up about 7%. And our biggest losers this morning are led by Axum Therapeutics, though I wasn't able to find any distinct news from this morning. Trading under the ticker AXSM, the stock is down about 9%. They're followed by Fidelity National, under FIS, down 8.5%, and Norfolk Southern, under NSC, down 4.27%. So that is going to be everything for Monday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, share this video with some of your other market-minded friends, and say good morning in the comments. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you back here next time.